Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on the channel and guys, welcome to another GFriend listening buddies. Hello, GFriend listening party. I am, it's been, it's the third, it's the third recording of the day. So guys, stick with me. So yeah, GFriend listening party to the first album of GFriend called LOL or LOL, however you want to pronounce it. I have my beautiful chat with me here again, because as, as this past two, three listening parties that we did uh, for GFriend. We have been doing them live on YouTube. Um, previously, I was gonna do these on Twitch, but for this, uh, I actually just switched over to YouTube and there's many beautiful people here uh, to the right of me who are, who are like cruising along through the discography. We still have the first mini album and when we're done with this today, we're gonna, I've asked chat already like on the, um official korean discography we have the first to third mini album only left and then we have some japanese releases and yeah so i'm depending on you guys to put in the comments like more osts more cover songs i need content <laughs> i need content to cope uh so if you have anything in that regard um just shoot it down in the comments and i will pick it out for the future videos but yeah today on the agenda, the first mini album, lol. We have the intro, called intro, fittingly. Uh, then we have Fall in Love, Navillera. What an amazing song. If you haven't seen my initial reaction to Navillera, be sure to check that out. I'm trying to remember to link that up for you in the notifications or annotations. I don't really know what word it is right now. Then we have LOL, as the album title is. A Distance, Waterflower, Mermaid, Sunshine, Compass, Click, Gone with the Wind and then the Navalera instrumental version. So it's a long one, but yeah, guys, just get yourself cozy. Have no drink as I have because I'm not prepared. Be better prepared than me. Have a drink. Get comfy, guys. Let's go. Let's start off with the intro. Also, if you're not yet subbed, please consider subbing to the channel. Helps me out greatly. Let's go. Intro time. Ooh. Wow. I mean, by the cover already, this concept looks playful, cute, summery, fun, creative. And that's kind of what's, what this intro is currently like bringing to the table. Oh, there was another layer already in there. You heard that? I'm so eager to listen to Navillera again. I know this one's gonna be great. I already know it. I'm so hyped, guys. Uh, this is this intro should be called teaser because this is teasing. All right, great intro. Let's get into it. Fall in love. Here we go. Ooh. Almost sounds like a, like a movie soundtrack already, with with the feel of that instrumental. So far, I like it. Ooh. I'm liking this so far, I'm liking this. Instrumental is really fun.
really, really refreshing song, you know? It's like really, really good vibes and all around. like love just love all I have is love for these girls song really 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 cool song had great energy to it um yeah really really solid start uh so there's a full album and and now we are gonna be hit with the banger and it's navilera like this song this song is just amazing can we like agree on that thank you about the song is it's so good that even my headset is like hey dude give me some battery <laughs> I can't handle this without some battery <laughs> This song is just addicting. Hands down, addicting. This guitar, like this freaking guitar. <laughs> oh, this song in itself is a party. This song in itself, killing it, killing it. Vocals, my goodness. All right, 
let's just go right into the next one guys as i said if you want my initial reaction to navalera you can find it on the channel it's still great but we're here for some new songs and we are currently continuing with lol what is this one gonna be like Ooh. two that almost sounds like Is it more like 90s? I feel like it's like early 90s music with that synth. <laughs> was, that was cool. This is so different. But it's so fun. Especially like this part right now. With that beat going on. It's a freaking jam. <laughs> I love that bit really much. Can't you tell? I love the contrast of the deeper and higher voices there. The groove to this one. That really bangs. Guitars, like I swear, they just invented guitars. I feel like, please, crazy. Doesn't matter, it doesn't matter acoustic or electric guitar, like they nail it in their songs. Like, there's such always such good use of these bits where they just go off on the, the, the electrical guitar and the, and the instrumental. And I freaking adore it. LOL was just a, another mood raiser. Was really, 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 really good. Really, really fun. I love that little LOL yeah part. That was cheeky, playful, cute. Really, really cool. And next up, it's already highlighted in green. We have Distance. That's a sound I haven't heard in K-pop. Like... How do you call that in English? Is that like... What's the English name for that? I, I, or, I only have the German... Is that a German instrument name? Instrumental name? Interesting, okay. This is... Cool. Is it a harmonica? In Germany, I would already say it's like a Muntermonika, right? Ooh. But yeah, as Chad is saying, this has the reggae vibes to it. It, 
it low key sounds a little cheesy, but I I really really like it. Kind of reminds me of like an opening song to some like country sitcom for some reason, but better <laughs> if that makes sense. Oh my god, this is so different and I love it. <laughs> my god. This song makes you smile so easily. I like it. I like it. Just with how low-key cheesy it is. I'm enjoying this. I re I'm really enjoying this. Just cause it's so like... Unique. Tell me one song in K-pop that sounds like this. One. Super, super cool. Go off on that. Yeah, kill it. Whoever's playing that. <laughs> oh my god, I love this so much. <laughs> that part was like, usually. They would just pull out an electric guitar solo for that, but they just do it with the harmonica. <laughs> I adore it. So like country. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to put that into my playlist. It was just that fun. It was just like it's put me in such a good mood. Come on. <laughs> the song was amazing. The harmonica, as you guys told me now, that's probably called <laughs> Amazing. Like I can't describe it, but it was so cheeky, cheesy and nice and fun and creative. I adore that song. All right. Next up, sixth song of the album. We have Waterflower. That's a beautiful name, Waterflower. Okay, we are back with some drums from the harmonica right again into the drums. Oh, high energy. Okay, splitting up. I love these drums already. The instrumental is completely my type. Yeah, yeah, really, really J Rocky vibes. And I love J Rock, so mm, this is hitting all, all the weak spots for me. Like. Dude, these drums are drumming right into my head, right into my brain, right into my feel good area in my head. And they are there to stay. Oh. 
I'm vibing with this one. I'm really vibing with this one. This chorus. As Chad is saying, this this one would really work as an anime opening, like for sure. This one would freaking work. It's the combination of these this uh, G friend <laughs> whenever I don't know how to describe this beauty I just say G friend and it speaks for itself it's so amazing It's already it. No, wait, that flew by. That song literally just flew by. If you were to tell me that that was the standard duration of like 1 minute 30 that like all anime intros have, or like 1 minute 24, I would have believed you. <laughs> but that one flew by. Freaking 3 minutes 41, just like that. Yeah, okay, into my playlist. Thank you. <laughs> That song was amazing, <laughs> freaking amazing. Like, I think this, this, yeah, it's my favorite so far. It is for sure my favorite because it ticks all the right boxes for me. Like the drums, like this rock, J-rock feel to it, the drums, the guitar, and then these powerful vocals, high energy, everything. Love. G-Friend, freaking love you. All right. Mermaid up next. Let's get it. We already have some water sounds. We had the ocean, guys. We're just chilling, listening to G Friend. Sun's shining. Everything is good. Life's, life's better. Life's gonna get better. Strong emotional vocals right here. Ooh. Instrumental is kind of chill. instrumental on this one it's it's magical and like moody Yeah. 
thread here. Mmm. Go off. So beautiful. Finishes off right as it start, uh, right, uh, the same way it started with the ocean sounds. Wow, that one was kind of like it was not as like super energetic as uh, maybe Waterflower was, but it had that it had a little energy to it. It was really vibe. It was really really nice song. All right, next up, we are continuing. Go, we go on. And we have sunshine next. Okay. Interesting start with that bass and clap. Ooh. Ooh. I really love how this is starting out. This sounds really, really good. sunshine really really beautiful I love this like flow to it, these change ups. Really, really beautiful, for sure. One of the better slow gems that I know. Slow gems are not usually my type of music, but I like I love the vibe of this one. Definitely, I have a, I have a playlist that is called K-pop Chill, and that's going in there. It's my dedicated work playlist. I think that one is a good one to just sit there. You can just work to it, like vibe with it. Really, really, really good. Really, really nice. Oh my god, I love that. 
as I said, like these slower songs are usually like I can appreciate them, but they are not like my favorites. But this one sticks out for me. This one really does stick out for me as like a really, really good slow jam song. All right. Next up, we have Compass, which I, I'm still not over the fact that there is an S missing for the word Compass. So it might mean something else, but we're going to call it Compass for now. Otherwise, you guys let me know. That bass line is really cool. Totally did not expect it to sound like. Ooh, I like that. Oh my god, I'm loving that actually. What happened to the instrumental? Oh my god. Wow. That, that break. Oh, I, <laughs> I like that one. The, co the, like, the chorus just completely took me by surprise. Completely by surprise. Mm. These drunk. That little yeah right there. For some reason that kind of reminded me of Momoland. <laughs> oh, but this chorus! Ah, oh, so good! to go along with it. This song definitely took me by surprise. That took me by surprise. Until the first chorus, that that was a totally different song, and then the first chorus just came in like that and changed everything. And I love that. <laughs> Compass was 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 really cool. Like that surprise factor that that song had alone was like making is like making the song unique for me. Uh, and I'm all here for that one. This album so far is great. We had have so many bangers and this one I, I've, I've been saying on on the last ones um, that <sighs> different has this good skill set of having a particular sound to an album but this one I feel like is tackling so many different like vibes and sounds and feels and I like that so will click be something else again or what's it gonna be like? Let's go, let's listen to Click. Mm. 
Mm. Okay. I like how this is starting out. These like harmonized chants. Oh, that's a particular 90s song. I think it was the song for the 98 football world championship. That so reminds me. Like, they sound so similar to this like vocal chant bit. But I don't know how this song is called. Fun. High energy summary, like it. Good mood, good mood stuff, live it. chorus is good vibes intensifies like please oh i love this so much this sounds great a fan of these like vocal chants paired mm. with some great backing vocals once again Can't get enough of that, honestly. Yeah. As already said in chat, like, <laughs> screaming along on a concert to that one would be the killer of all throats. <laughs> For freaking sure. Oh my god. I. Like, I'm gonna play that again, but the beginning already of, of Click was like... That came in so unexpected. We were like, okay, what direction is this going? And it's immediately good mood, powerful, vocal chants, everything I love. Hell yeah. All right, guys. One last song on this one, and it's called Gun With The Wind. Few guys uh, in, in in chat have already said that this one is, is going to be their favorite, or they really like this one. So here we go, Gone with the Wind. Okay. Mm. Okay. Oh my god, I love the, so the sound of this. The sound of this is like... Re mm. Kind of reminds me of the sound that Luna One Third has. So I'm all for that. Ooh, they drop into the chorus. Mm. 
What a high energy song to, for the end, like, mmm. Instrumental is sick. Ooh, really hard electric elements to this. Interesting. Cool contrast to the other more like softer synth and like raw drums. Fun. Come on, kill these vocals, dude! Oh. And that guitar again. Where is the guitar again coming from? My god, this ending is like non stop just power. Honestly, what a great song. Wow, really abrupt ending. All right. The Navilera instrumental version. We're gonna leave that playing. In the background, where we talk about how good this album was, I touched on it uh, midway, but as I said, previous albums really, really did a great job on focusing on one particular sound. But I think the concept of this one was more so it being fun, playful and experimental. So obviously it makes sense for it to have a lot of different concepts within the album. And I freaking love that and it really showed the songs sounded so different from each other um, sometimes it was crazy like with Waterflower having this more like J Rocky type of beat uh, Fall in Love was, was so different again Mermaid as well I mean Distance Distance was I think the most playful creative for me in this one Great, great, great first album. Like, ah, uh, yeah, I love this album. This album was really, really good. I feel, I feel like this album is really like an album. If you wanna like, it has something for everyone, you know. Like, there's so many contrasts in this, and everyone can find a song that they're gonna enjoy. Maybe there's gonna be a song in there that they are not enjoying as much as the others, but. I feel like everyone has something in the LOL album to enjoy. So yeah, guys, chat has already um, told me what their favorite songs are. Um, so now comment section, it's your turn uh, to let me know what's your favorite um, out of this album. I, I think for me, it's Waterflower. Waterflower and Distance. I think Distance just because it's so creative and Waterflower because it bangs and slaps and just it's right for me so yeah i'm really eager to see uh, what you guys think so yeah this is the end of my of the albums that i um 
listen to now but when you guys see this video there should be um i either announce it on my discord or on youtube first um so you guys will know we're gonna have to we're gonna do another stream uh where we're gonna check out the remaining three mini albums um so keep your eyes peeled for that if you're not subbed yet make sure to sub so you don't want to miss that if you want to watch that live otherwise as always um the listening parties are gonna come in higher frequency right now for you guys and then you're actually through already with the like main discography i really love these girls i'm still like a little bummed about the news but eh. i still have so much music to, to just share with you guys and you can share with me and leave your opinions and we can just listen to different together so yeah guys thank you so much for being here chat thank you so much for being here with me and then all you beautiful buddies out there please stay safe send you a lot of love and then hopefully see all you guys in the next video when we're gonna check out the third mini album of g friend so until then guys have a good one bye bye buddies